So earlier in one of our conversations, you spoke about what attracted you to Northeastern, and it was the fact that it was a public institution, that you've spent your career in public higher education. So in your opinion, what is the future of public higher education in Illinois and in the nation? That's a scary question. We are in extraordinary times, and I would give anything for a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to look at a little bit where we've been. It's true, nationally there's less support, less investment in higher education generally, and in public higher education in particular. And there is the public dialogue about, is college really worth it? So you have all those things happening. and. Yet in the Great Recession, where jobs were lost, when jobs came back, the ones that were lost permanently are if you only had a high school education. There aren't good paying jobs out there anymore for those who only have a high school education. And there's, there are other studies that say um, the unemployment rate for college grads during the Great Recession was half of that, of those who did not have a college education. So in part, what our job is and what the future needs to be is we demonstrate that the investment does pay off over the long term. Higher ed's pretty good at long term, and I think as a society, we're not very good at that right now. But we have to keep trying to demonstrate the long term value. Now I worry that, um, you know, we talk about the new normal, and we're not even sure what new normal is. I am afraid or concerned that there is an even newer normal. And we have to figure it out. We have to discover it. We have to figure it out. We can't let it defeat us. And then we have to impact it. Even though it's impacting us, we have to impact it. And I think we do all that while as public higher education or as each individual institution, we evolve, we adapt, we innovate, we create. I'm not sure how many of those words fit. Mm -hmm. Always to meet student needs. And so students' needs in the future are also changing. And if we can keep meeting those, even though they keep moving around mm -hmm. and adapt, then I'm actually optimistic that we can meet the challenges. It's scary, mm -hmm. but I think we can. And I think the future of public higher ed is is sound enough and it will get better. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, 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 it's messy in that um, it's a personnel intensive endeavor to educate students. And it always will be. Right, and you know. the um, process for each student isn't necessarily linear. No. So, I mean, one of our challenges here at Northeastern is that our students come in and they're often working, uh, you know, a 30 to 40 hour a week job. They take longer to graduate but yet there's still these sort of federal designations about students of privilege, meaning they don't work, they can go full time, and they can get out in four and years. And they always finish in four years. And they always occasionally finish Occasionally three and a half. Yes, occasionally yeah, three so, and a half. Yeah. Um, so, I think you did that, actually. Yeah, so. Um, so, I mean, I worry that, you know, there's, there's, that, that those federal designations that fit a long time ago haven't evolved for the type of student that we're really seeing um, today and, and how they're offering we, yes. me an opportunity to say what I have said many times. Yes. <laughs> but, and that is when we look at student success for all institutions, but it fits better for Northeastern. All institutions can't use the six year graduation rate, but all institutions can use what we call the Delta measure. And it's the number of graduations per 100 FTE students. So if you go straight through and you finish in four years, but I'm going half time, so I need eight years, and there's another person out there that's half time that needs eight years, those two people together are two FTE, but we're going slow. You're an FTE and you're going fast. Then in the sort of general piece, anything over about 25%, because that would be traditionally you graduate one fourth of your students every year. You're doing okay, mm -hmm. but you could also compare with your peers you can compare last year versus this year. Mm -hmm. So the new measures, and the Delta's obviously my favorite one, will help us know if students are succeeding. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's enough discussion out there now that even the federal government will start adopting at least two measures. Right. They won't change to this yeah. one, but they will have two, and we will be in a better place. 
you know, I had never heard of that measure until I arrived at Northeastern and heard you talk about it. And then I had not heard it on the national landscape, but now places like Lumina yeah. and the Gates Foundation are starting to talk about these different measures. So I keep thinking that it was Sharon Haas raising her hand My saying, single campaign. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's talk about the Delta. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. but thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm.